What's good, YouTube? We're back here again with a review of this masterpiece right here. This is the Joy-Con and Pro Controller charging dock. Um, it charges two Joy-Cons and one Pro Controller. It is made by Power A here um, and licensed by Nintendo. I've been using it for a while, but it's not a necessity. Let's just let's start there. I like it and everything, but I like to take my go like my switch on the go, not my go on the switch. <laughs> but I like to take my switch on the go and like you know bring it to school, play with friends, you know, interact with people. You know, one thing that restricts you is this little dongle on the switch bag. It's barely big enough for the pro controller. So if you have this little dongle on there and you're trying to slip it in the freaking bag, like this is there and it won't go in. So. Every time I have to take this off, leave it on the little dock, it's magnetic, it just sits there, and then I can put my Pro Controller away in the back. Don't get me wrong, this is a nice, nice, nice uh, charging dock made by Powerade. I really enjoy it. Um, another issue with the charging dock is that we have this little Joy-Con, and like, most people, like, at the first time I ever, like, used this i was like is it charging is it not like the green light wasn't showing up there there's usually so when it's charging or fully charged you'll get a green light up here when it's fully charged when it's charging you'll get a red one and that means it's charging but it's not fully charged and like that didn't the uh red light didn't even show up so i was like what the hell what's going on so then i was like playing around with it and i finally snapped it in you have to if you don't drop it in like that it's not gonna snap in if you just kind of like set it like there. It's not charging. You gotta like hear that little click. You gotta feel it. Um, everything that comes in the box is basically this, the dongle, and then on the bottom of this, you actually have this long cord. It's it's not super long. Like I would prefer it to be longer. Um, it's like a three foot cord, and it's got this like nice little thing. So if you wanna snap it in there, make it like look aesthetic and everything from the back. I I never see the back of my uh, docks or anything because I've got a setup and like every all the cords are mainly hidden except for my mouse and my keyboard. Um, and then the uh, other thing that comes in here is a whole bunch of plastic to protect this thing. And then the guide, it's like a little startup guide. It says, oh, plug the USB adapter into the Pro Controller. Make sure you plug this, it says plug it into the 3.0. And that's where some people are gonna be misled. Um, I personally plug it into a 2.0 and it does phenomenal because my setup is a little bit large for the cord. And so when I put this on the other side of my desk, for example, the cord is like too short to get into the 3.0 and still go on the other side of my desk. So I plug it into a 2.0 and it works phenomenally. I haven't had any issues with it. Now, if you wanted to fall like recommended perfect, like everything, Go ahead and plug it into your 3.0 and put it like near your switch. You'd probably be losing, I don't know, six inches of the cord, not much. It's it's not super crazy. It's half a foot. Um, but yeah, it, it's I recommend it. It's not a necessity. I would give it a 7 out of 10 on necessity-wise. Um, but I recommend it. If you're going to go pick it up, it's 20 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description. It also has a two-year limited warranty. So if anything happens to this dock, you call Power A or Nintendo up, and they'll link you up with someone you have to send this in to, and then they'll ship you another one. Free of charge. You get two years from the day you buy this. Uh, it's a limited warranty. It says it right here. Power A, two-year limited warranty. Um, but yeah, it's it's real nice. It's nice and weighted. So, like, it's nice. And, like, another thing that I noticed, not everyone does this. Don't get me wrong. Not everyone does this. But you can also take... Like an amiibo, for example, and like set it on top of this. It's a nice, like a little amiibo stand without an amiibo stand. Trust me, I have one of the fancy Mario Block and amiibo stands. But with this, you, you can put an amiibo up there and just display an amiibo. And especially if you put some lighting behind it, you can like show off your amiibo. I like Daruk to put on it just because, you know, I really like Daruk as a character in uh, Breath of the Wild. But it, I, I haven't had any issues with it. I love it for 20 bucks. It's it's definitely worth it. It's 
if you don't have anything else to get and you're looking at getting a dock, I recommend this. Unless you have four Joy-Cons, or six Joy-Cons, much less. I have four, so this works perfectly. I put two on my Switch and then two on this. And usually the two on my Switch just stay there. They're the, I have the neon yellow ones on my Switch right now. Um, but this works perfectly for what I have. But if you're going to get like six different Joy-Cons or eight different Joy-Cons, like if you have eight Joy-Cons, get this and get the other one they make by Powerade. They make one that charges four Joy-Cons. Um, I just wanted to just specify, I'm not sponsored by Powerade or anything. I'm talking them up because they make some phenomenal products as far as charging docks for the Switch, pro controllers for the Switch. They make great products and they're phenomenal. Um, then... Next topic, if you guys want to see an un or not like an unboxing, but more of a again more of a review, I'm thinking of doing more of reviews because I've unboxed a lot of this stuff already. I've been using it like the Mar and Rabs. I should have probably just done a review on that instead of unboxing it again. But um, if you want to see a review on the Nintendo Switch backpack, I I don't know the specific name because I don't have the tag anymore, but it was like the Nintendo Switch Pro Player backpack or something like that. If you guys want to see a video on a review of that, which, by the way, it's phenomenal. I've been using it for school. I've been carrying a Inspiron 1500 and a Surface Pro in there, and it's been perfectly fine. Just tanking it. It's a heavy, it's it's a tank backpack. It, it's built to last. Um, if you guys want to see a review on that, smash the hell out of the like button. All I'm asking for is 10, 10 likes on this video. If you get 10 likes on this video, I'll be uploading that after this. I don't have the video filmed yet. I'll be filming it probably tomorrow so on Saturday. I'm filming this on Friday. This probably won't get uploaded till Saturday because I've got a lot of editing to do. I'm still working on an intro and an outro for my videos uh, because I know like the last one was okay. It was like my first video and everything, but like I'm trying to get it like animated and I had like special text and everything. It's, it's going to be good. Um, and then next... And final topic, but not the least topic, PAX South 2018. It's coming up. It's not this weekend. It's next weekend through the 12th through the 14th down in San Antonio, Texas. Um, I'll be down there Saturday and Sunday. I'm not able to Friday because I have school that day. Um, but I'll be coming down there early Saturday morning. I'll be hitting my hotel. Not necessarily checking in with them, so I might have to leave back sometime in the day to go check in with my hotel. If they have a room open, I'll be like, hell yeah, just go ahead and throw me in a room. But they probably won't, to be honest. Um, but I'll be down there Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, I'll be there all day until close, and then I'll probably get go down to the river walk, get something to eat, etc. And then Sunday, I'll be there all day. And then after Pack South, I'll be uploading a video of some of the experiences from PAX South. I'll, it'll be like a best of PAX South 2018 video. Um, and that'll be uploaded on Monday, on Martin Luther King Day. But the whole PAX South vlog um, won't be uploaded unless you, my fans, get me to 20 subscribers. That's all I'm asking. I'm at 13 right now, I'm pretty sure. Um, I was hoping for 15, because if we got 15 last night, I was going to do this ahead of time. Because um, we still got a lot of stuff we can do reviews on. I can do reviews on the yellow Joy-Cons. I can do reviews on the Power A Pro Controller, this Pro Controller, um, etc. Even the Switch, even if we really wanted to, we can get down to it. I can do a Switch or whatever you guys prefer. You guys leave in the comments down below what you want. Um... But yeah, you get me to 20 subscribers, you're going to have a phenomenal vlog of PAXL 2018. It might be a little later than you guys expect because of the fact I have to do a week's worth of editing on that big of a vlog. Like, I'm going to be filming in the car on the way down there. Um, I recently got a GoPro I'm going to be using to uh, film on the way down there. And then when we're down there, I'll probably be using my phone. I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. I don't, I, all I have is a cheap selfie stick to film with. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be bumpy. I might just film with the GoPro, to be honest, because the GoPro's got really good quality. Uh, so, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me down below on my social media. I have a Twitter at uh, RealSeabird. 
Insta, Real Seabird, and then my Snapchat. Um, I usually respond to my Snapchat. On the other two, I usually don't respond. So, <laughs> fair warning, I, I don't check them as often. My Snapchat, I always check. I'll be leaving a link to this down below as well. And thank you for watching. And most importantly, again, not to stress it on y'all, but hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. If we smash that 10 likes, y'all already know that backpack review is coming. So thank y'all for watching again. Y'all have a great weekend. Stay safe. I want to see all y'all back to school for my friends that are watching this. And I want to see all y'all down at PAX here in a couple, a uh, few days. Adios.